and make your way to the launch pad. And here they come. Crew 10 taking their first steps outside as they prepare for their journey to the International Space Station. From left to right, Kirill Peskov, Nicole Ayers, Ann McLean, and Takuya Onishi. Well, this is the second time they've done this, so when you do something a second time, does it have the same feeling? Yeah, you know, I think it's actually probably a little bit better for them because some of those have kind of gone through it already the first time, and so I think they're probably a little bit more relaxed, but still feeling all of that excitement and exhilaration for launch day. So I'd say it's probably... Back live now at the launch pad as your commander and pilot walk towards the elevator after taking a look at their rocket for the second time. Heading up the launch tower. Getting into that special elevator and I'm not sure, I'm guessing maybe Anne will get to push that button, but it's the best button in the elevator because it says space. Not. Yeah, that seal that you were talking about, of course, incredibly important to the... That's just simply orbital mechanics. Depends the t on the time that you're launching, where the space station is relative to you, and all of these factors. So it, you know, it could be a very short flight and could be longer. Classmates. Yeah, absolutely. I know that they are all so proud of her today. So excited for her. I'll, I never forget that f that first moment when you see your first you know, all of the other astronauts and cosmonauts that are flying and every launch, of course, is very special when it's one of your friends or colleagues, but it's Ill inside the astronaut office that uh, so much attention has been given to their return. Yeah, definitely a lot of attention. Do That is what we live for and that's really our main intent of being astronauts is to go to space and to do science and to do vehicles but all different aspects of the space station program and so you know we know we accept the mission knowing what the plan is but tracking a roughly less than five percent chance of violation at our target liftoff time of 703 p.m. The vehicle is traveling just under 4,000 miles per hour. We're just about 20 seconds away from those events that... Copy, to Alpha. Great call-outs and incredible views there on your left-hand screen. On your left-hand screen, you can see a view from stage one. <laughs> and there we have our first images of the crew inside the Dragon spacecrafts as they make their way into orbit. Awesome views. <laughs> and on the right-hand side of your screen, you can see that lone Merlin vacuum engine of the second stage. We're continuing to get good performance. There's that landing burn. Let's watch as Falcon 9 touches down on landing zone one. <laughs> Choose cooperation and believe in the inherent goodness of all people across the world. To my family and friends, without you, I would not.